So we're learning about computing the pressure gradient. Pressure gradient contributes to the pressure gradient force. The stronger the force, the stronger the uh, wind. So if we compute the amount of pressure change that occurs over a given distance, we've calculated the pressure gradient. The formula to calculate the pressure gradient is we take the difference in pressure over the distance. Look with me in page 167 of your text. Isobars are lines of equal pressure that are drawn on weather maps and they're drawn at 4 millibars differences. Uh, using this information we calculate the pressure gradient with this formula. The first thing we're going to do is calculate the pressure gradient uh, at line A to B. You see that in the lower left side of your screen near the L, near the low. And we do that calculation by taking the, the difference in pressure 4 millibars, and we divide it by 70, which is the distance. We come out with a pressure gradient of 0 0.057. Now we're going to calculate that and compare it to line CD. That's the line that's to the right of your screen, closer to the high. And uh, we do that, again, by the same thing. We have 4 millibars difference change. That's 1028 to 1032. That's 4 millibars divided by the distance between those isobaric lines, that's 200 miles, we come out with a pressure gradient of 0 0.02. Now let's talk terminology. We call it a steeper or stronger pressure gradient at line A to B and a weaker or gentler pressure gradient at line C to D. When differences in horizontal pressure exist, such as this, the force is called pressure gradient force and is directed from the higher toward the lower pressure at right angles to the isobars. And that pressure gradient force at right angles to the isobars, that's what causes the wind to blow. Now let's take that to the practical application. Here's an example of a surface analysis chart from your PowerPoint presentation. Notice that the isobars are set as lines of equal pressure at 4 millibars difference. Look at this section right here, and what would you expect to find? Notice that the isobaric lines are closer together. This means that there is a steep pressure gradient, higher pressure gradient force, and that yields stronger winds. Now by contrast, look at this section down a little farther to the south. What type of weather conditions, wind conditions in particular, would you expect in this area? Here we have a more gentle pressure gradient, lower pressure gradient force, and that will yield calmer winds.